everybody, I'm Juliana and this is the Sprocket Girl channel. I have gotten a lot of questions about the gear that I wear and the apparel that I wear while I'm mountain biking. So to address all of these questions, I'm bringing you a five part series of videos all about my gear and apparel. The five videos will be coming out on separate days this week, so stay tuned for all of them. I will be covering both my open face helmet as well as my full face helmet, the eye protection that I use, which means my sunglasses as well as my goggles, then my Tosco MTB gloves and socks, my favorite shorts and jerseys, and then lastly, the shoes that I wear. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so today I will be reviewing both my Smith open face helmet as well as my Giro full face helmet. Let's start with the Smith open face helmet. So this is the Smith Rover MIPS helmet. So MIPS stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. I've been wearing this helmet for almost three years. Uh, I bought it pretty much in the beginning when I bought my bike. I actually did buy a different helmet right at the same time that I bought my bike. And for some reason that helmet gave me pressure headaches. So I kept getting headaches while I was riding, even after only like 30 minutes or so. And so after a while I realized that um, even though I was trying to adjust the helmet and everything, it just wasn't a good fit for me. So I went back to the store and I ended up buying this Smith helmet. And this has been my trusty companion since uh, then, so for almost three years. And it's been an absolutely awesome helmet. I've never worn another open face helmet other than this one. So what I really like about it is that it kind of comes down a little bit further um, than a typical, you know, commuter bike helmet might in the back. So it's a typical mountain bike helmet, so it offers more protection in the back of your head. And then you have this adjustable system here. So depending on your head size or head circumference size, you can adjust it here to make it fit snugly and comfortably. And then obviously it also has the adjustable chin strap here as well, which is um, really handy and important too. So one thing to note about this helmet is that the visor is implemented, which means that it's not adjustable. So this is the angle at which it always is. Um, personally, for me, that's not a problem because I don't necessarily feel like I need to adjust the angle of the visor on this helmet. Um, that's why I wear glasses to protect myself from the sun. Um, but if there are people out there who really want an adjustable visor, that's something to be aware of. I think this is an overall an awesome helmet. It's served me really well. I haven't crashed on my head specifically yet, so I haven't had to replace it. Um, so I can't really speak to that aspect. But for any of you out there looking to buy a mount, like an open face mountain bike helmet, I would definitely recommend going with one that offers a lot of protection in the back and not just riding with a typical um, commuter bike helmet. All right, let's talk about my full face Giro switchblade helmet. So I specifically bought this helmet last year because I was going to race an enduro race. Uh, before that, I hadn't been really focusing too much on downhilling or on enduro style riding. So it wasn't really necessary for me to have a full face helmet, but I wouldn't have wanted to ride that enduro race with my open face helmet. So this has been a wonderful addition to my gear collection. So some of the features that I really love about this helmet are, for instance, that the visor is adjustable in this case. So there's three different settings, the highest, the medium setting and the lowest setting. So that's really nice, especially if you're riding a lot of downhill in areas where uh, there are not a lot of trees, there's not a lot of shade. Um, you can set it lower or if the sun's angle is lower or higher, you can adjust your visor to that. So that's really nice. It also has an adjustable chin strap here. You just thread the strap through these two metal pieces and then you clip it into place right here. So obviously the helmet needs to stay in place under your chin. And then you also have this adjustable dial behind your head here that adjusts the tightness of this um, plastic harness around your head. And then the last, but probably the best feature about this helmet is that it has a removable chin piece. So for instance, if you're climbing a lot, um, but you're still wearing your full face helmet, and you just want a little bit more airflow around your chin or around your face, you can remove this chin piece pretty easily and then just stick it in your backpack or your hip pack or something like that. And then put it back on when you're going downhill. Okay, to remove it, you just press on these two levers here, bend the chin piece up and then just pull it out of the main part of the helmet. Pretty easy. And then to put it back in, it's the same way back. Click it back in place on both sides. 
and then that's it. it takes a little bit of practice but you can master it pretty quickly so a couple things to note about the full face helmet versus the open face helmet it takes or at least for me it took a little bit of time in the beginning to get used to the fact that this helmet is definitely heavier than the open face helmet and it's much tighter and your visibility is decreased compared to the open face helmet obviously because there's a lot more material around your face to keep you safe in case of a crash. I would say it took me maybe one ride for an hour or two to get used to it. So honestly, it wasn't that bad. Like I think it, you know, you just have to wear it a little bit in the beginning and you get used to the feeling of it. And honestly, during my Enduro race, I was really glad to have the extra material all around my face, um, especially around my chin. It definitely made me feel more safe and also a little bit more confident. So you gotta be aware of that. If you suddenly feel a lot more confident with this helmet and you're gonna go out and do really crazy stuff, maybe just be aware of that um, and know your limits and your skill levels. Okay, so the one thing that I still find a little bit challenging with this helmet is getting it on and off. It is really tight, which is a good thing because you wanna be safe when you're crashing, but it does mean that you kind of have to squish it over your head when you're putting it on. So let's try that. So what I'll do is I'll completely open up this dial here. <laughs> let's see how this goes. And I grab hold of both of these straps and I really pull the helmet apart as much as I can. And then I literally just pull it over my head and kind of squish it down. And there you go. As uncomfortable as that is, once it's on, it feels really good. You can feel the padding inside. And then from here, you can adjust the strap underneath your chin and then the dial behind your head to make it feel snug and to keep it in place. And that's it. Now we have to take it off again. Ugh. Okay. Oh, and one last thing. I was actually pretty worried in the beginning when I bought this helmet that it would give me pressure headaches like my original open face helmet had given me, but I have not had this problem with this helmet at all. Uh, as tight as it is, it has not given me any pressure headaches. It does not feel uncomfortable once it's on. And during my enduro race last summer, I had it on and off probably for the duration of six hours. I kept taking it on and off. And I think the longest I had it on in one stretch was probably two hours or something like that. So you can definitely have it on for a long time and it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. So I can definitely recommend this helmet as a great full face helmet with a lot of really cool features such as the removable chin piece. So as a side note, I am not sponsored by either Smith or Jiro, but I can definitely recommend both of these helmets. All right, that's it for today, guys. I will leave the links to these products in the description below this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to my channel to support Sprocket Girl. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'll be talking about my eye protection. So my sunglasses as well as my goggles. Bye, guys.